Pina Hungarian Vizsla. Okay, one of his issues is he's not giving up the ball. Owners want to go to the park, they want to play fetch with him. What happens is he either buggers off with it or doesn't bring it back or just refuses to release the ball uh, to give it up to the owners. Couple of things you can do here. Don't you dare. You're a big dog and that would have hurt me. Couple of things you could do here is one, offer a better alternative with food, all right? Or offer another alternative with a second ball, okay? Refuses to come back, oh, guess what, here you go, blah, 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 okay? Both of those can be de detrimental later on down the line for reasons which I'm not gonna go into, okay? My point here is there is a number of different ways to teach this. Now, whoosh, off he goes, go and fetch it, okie dokie. So what I need to do, come on in, come on in here, sit, drop it, leave. Just like that, okay? So what have I done there to get him to give it up? I've given him something else to think about, okay? And I'll talk you through it as we go. He's gone out there and he's coming back in. Come on in in here, sit. The first thing that is new to him for this action, all right? He's never been asked to sit before. So we're giving him something else to think about to interrupt this habit of messing around with the ball. Sit. Okay, the next thing is I've given him a direction, drop it or give or whatever, choose whatever word you like. Okay, I'm giving him a direction I'm, and I'm wanting him, it's, it's a command, I want him to do as I'm saying him to do. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is I'm telling him to leave it. The number of reason why is because safety pri primarily is because when I reach down to pick that up, I don't want him to lunge and go for the ball, catching my fat fingers in the way, okay? Another thing that we're doing here is we're feeding in a leave command. So he understands that if there is temptation around him, leave it means just that, leave it, okay? So we've changed the game. And what we've done through patience and repetitiveness is show him the game is only going to continue if this is in my hand, okay? So no longer do I need two. That can go away. Don't need it. All right. Fetch it then. And off he goes. We're in the park and we're having great fun with him. Come on in then, then, mate. Yay. Sit. Sit. Drop it. Leave. Bend down. Pick it up. And the game continues. Okay. So we have planned and shown him. Come on in, mate. Through steps. Sit. Drop it. Bit of patience, leave, bend down, pick it up. If he ticks all those boxes and he checks all of those steps correctly, the game continues, okay? So what we've done is we've taught him a new game of fetch. Come on in, here you come. Sit, drop it. Patience, drop it. Leave. Good boy. Whoosh. So we've taught him a different game of fetch that has got more structure. Peanut, sit. More discipline, more a better routine for him. Drop it. But more importantly, we are controlling the rules of the game. Leave. Leave. Good. Hence why I feed in a leave command leave good all right because that was in between his shoulder blades there with his gaping teeth he's not he's not going to do it out of purpose he's going to do it out of excitement okay he's going to reach down try to grab the tennis ball for a second time and my hand's going to be in the way so the game will only continue come on in buddy sit if he could and then it becomes a natural behavior here then good in he come sit so then we don't have to tell him to drop it. Leave it. He'll start picking up the new rules of the game and it will start changing a habit for the better. Come on in, mate. Sit. 
Still going to get him to sit. Sit. Good lad. But you can see the progress. You can see the pennies dropping here. Come on in there, mate. To the point where we don't actually have to say anything. Good boy. One more time. Come on in. In he come. Good boy. Good lad.